just talking about Star Wars, I cried whenever Darth Vader died. I tried to explain to her that he blew up entire planets full of people. <laughs> but we feel sorry for him. A damn he, King Kong. He created the Death Star for crying out loud. <laughs> Yeah, and then whenever him and his son were battling, he got kind of upset, and I felt bad. He, he got, got kind of upset. Him. How did you feel when he was making out with his sister? <laughs> well, I don't mean. <laughs> How'd that make you feel? I don't, I don't know. Thank you, Rusty Fuller. Thank you, sir. Bye, Rusty. Turn that camera on. He got out of here real fast. That's usually what happens. No, he said he wasn't coming back here because he was like. I bet they're they're filming back here, aren't they? And I was like, I think so. He's like, yeah. So he just sit out there and talk to me for a minute. What's the matter, Colin? Hmm? What's the matter? It's not a thing. Is a little off today? Are you perturbed? I'm not. He is. He's perturbed because there's a bunch of... I need this for Christmas. I need this for Christmas. I need this mm. for Christmas. Maybe you should have fucking told us you needed it for Christmas. I don't know, like, you know, two, three weeks ago. No, I really don't give a fuck about those bitches. <laughs> They'll get that shit whenever we get done with it. We're trying. We're trying to get your shit for Christmas, but we're at the point right now, like, if you're asking us today if you're getting your shit for Christmas, you're probably not getting your shit for Christmas. Like, we can go in there and ship the hundreds of boxes that we have going out, or we can go try to find the one or two that you've delayed till tonight, you know, today to ask about. So... No hard feelings. I'm sure you'll see this video, but if you're asking about Christmas shit today, we're not even replying to it. We won't even see today's emails for a couple of days, probably, because we're busy processing the shit that we do have ready to go. Which is a lot. We have a lot <clears throat> of stuff going out. Where is Mongo? In there. How do you feel about Mongo being one of us now and you being on the other side of the door? That's, no. He's not one of us. He's not? No. Oh. I didn't see him at dinner last night. Well, that's because you had two chicks he went out with last night. Oh. Um, well, we know that wasn't true. Yeah. <laughs> we can't even cover for him like that. <laughs> <laughs> you gobbled that down pretty quick. Yeah. Joey's been starving her. No. Joey's got, he, Joey bulked up and he's starting to run the household now. It's, now that's why you're so mad here. And she's been really sore the past couple days, so. Sore. Yeah. Yeah, my poor arms. My poor arms. <laughs> Look, so she can't hit me. <laughs> I have T-Rex arms. I feel like it hurts to extend all the way, so I've been just kind of like... Your voice is killing me. It is a little raspy. Are you, on, are you taking testosterone? No. I think I'm just... I've been fighting getting sick. For like She's been vocal, fighting. Are your vocal cords constricted? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I hope not. Do you, do you even know what that would mean? Have you okay. developed a small penis? <laughs> I have not developed a small penis. Joey? Is this true? Not that I know of. <laughs> I like it that not no. Just not that I know of. <laughs> she has been making me keep the lights off a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thanks, man. Say something, Lancey. Go. Man. Oh, how about... Guess what number, what, what number am I thinking between 1 and 10? Did you see this on Facebook? Uh -oh. Did Lance say this? <laughs> yeah. What is it? He never actually said people were saying, like, Says people who did guess between 1 and 10, he was like, know. you're not thinking outside of the box. And somebody said, like, 25, and he was like, everybody except that guy is wrong. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he said something along the lines of, and even I'm not sure if he's right. Like, <laughs> Who doesn't have food right now? Uh, me, you, her. And who else is in that food? Say we something. We only need three plates. I guess Heather will eat again. Yeah. No, I have deer turkey. You eat? We'll put that shit down. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Have you eat? Do you want to eat? Do. Okay, so four. You can. Mongo, you better speak up whenever we ask that question. I was in the back and I said my name. Hey. You sure talk. <laughs> you sure act like you run shit when Heather's not in this room. <laughs> Mongo. Mongo got a phone call yesterday, and I said, is that your mom? And it really was. I said, let me talk to your mom. Colin's like, do not let him talk to your mom. That is not a good idea. Yeah, he was going to give you the phone. I was like, Mongo, you put that phone down. You hang up right now. Let me save you. Let me save you and your mom's relationship. I already talked to my mom. I did talk to your but mom he's already, yeah, They know each other. 
Mongo Calrissian in there. We're not sure how that'd work out. Your mom likes me better than she tells me all the time. No, she, she does. My mom loves me. She tolerates you because you produced a grandchild. No, I'm her favorite. No, not, it's not James. You made a post about it. You're a grandchild. What is it? Delivery system. Delivery mm -hmm. system. You're just a, you're just a messenger at this point. I'm still their favorite. Other than the grandkids, I'm their favorite. I'm, I told Joey, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm still John's third favorite. I say third because you're Lance favorite. or first and second. I don't think there's really like Lance doesn't even get on the scale of favorite. <laughs> yeah, Lance, Lance. He's known Lance since he was a little boy. Well, Lance and then you. Uh, I don't know. They were kids. They grew up together. Uh, John's like top I like five. Colin, but some days I don't like him as much as other days. See? I just and think I'm his top he likes, five favorite he, people. He likes you very consistently. That's true. Colin. Colin's mad at me because he came in and was going to ship, and I'm like, hey, I need you to take care of these fucking, these, these little friends. motherfuckers asking about their Christmas shit, and he's like, can't we just ignore them? <laughs> no, we can't ignore them. So I don't even love them, I don't love them. When I think about them, when they had stuff, mm -hmm. I want to send them Ziploc poop. Do you see where I cried? We got a barnyard full of it. As far as against humanity, so like 30,000 people shit. Yeah, how did that work? Because they had a post on Black Friday that said that they were selling, it was called bullshit. Mm -hmm. And they had, in letter, like, it was on there. If you're expecting anything other than bullshit, you're stupid, don't buy this. And like 30,000 people bought it. Yep. And they actually sent them cow shit. Yep, bullshit. We're gonna play it, whoever doesn't have it. I saw a, a commercial last night, John, that I was like, I thought of you. And then I thought of Lance, because Lance would appreciate if we had this. So, <laughs> I'm watching YouTube, and you know, like, you get those advertisements in between? Well, there's this real stuff, and the, the commercial is absolutely hilarious. It's called Poopery. <laughs> and Poopery. Go, YouTube it, because I'm sure the Poopery commercial is on there, because it is hilarious. It's this woman dressed all nice and talking all prim and proper, kind of like the uh, Orbit. But does her mouth feel clean? It's like that. However, she's like, so if you've got to take a and it's like beeps are out and you need to cover it up, take this. And there's like all different versions, but it's poopery. So it's That's like awesome. shit cover? Yeah, it's like shit cover scent. Like she, uh, I can't remember all the different terminologies she used to talk about poop and farts and stink, but they're all very creative and very hilarious. Like I was rolling around on the floor laughing whenever we should I get some poopery. We should, because it's useful. I can carry it everywhere. For him. Lance won't have to throw up anymore. Well, he was still have to throw up. Because sometimes, sometimes Lance needs to be subjected to that. Because Lance wants to stay tough. And that's all me and John are trying to do is keep him tough. Uh -huh. I caught that motherfucker outside under the hose naked. Yeah. At 6 in the morning. He's been sprayed with OC before. The, our gas is nothing. Like, I watched him blow ice out of the hose. And then shower with it. So he could get fucking water to come. I go, what in the fuck are you doing? There's two showers in the building. And he chooses to do that shit. Crazy. Mine's just crazy. Mine's just yeah. fucking nuts. <laughs> so I got the um, testosterone pellets put in yesterday. You guys saw the video, a lot of you. Um, as I figured, as with last time and other times in the past, um, I go home and I'm fine. And then when it's time to go to bed, go to sleep, whatever, before I lay down, I get fucking shivers and chills, like really, really bad. Like fucking hypothermia almost. It was fucking terrible. Um, it's pretty cool. And then I wake up this morning, Hormones and I'm fucking, I'm totally, totally sweaty, fucking burning up. The sheets are soaking fucking wet. My, so, now I'm fine. You know that shit's working. Yeah. That's when you know real. you got some real shit. If you're not doing all that, and you're ever taking any kind of chemical, let me tell you from experience, that's the, that's the shit that actually happens. Because you're like, bodybuilders, back when I was bodybuilding, we would call each other on the phone and be like, hey. It's like three in the morning. You're like, hey, what's up? I'm like, well. I think maybe I'm dying. Shit, man, me too. I think we're okay. I think it's just <sighs> shit. Yep, that's what it was. Or you're driving down the road it. and your arm's hanging out the window and there's fucking drops of water. You're yeah, like raining out of your armpit. Yeah. So Sustanon 250 will do that. Um, <laughs> testosterone, yeah, like Sipony will do that. Yeah, a lot of shit will. So, but it's always interesting when you're going through it. You're like, I'm, maybe is this am and I some, okay? And some dude on the Facebook, on the uh, YouTube page comment I would just get the stuff and make it myself yeah you do that get the shit make it yourself keep in mind the shit you're getting to make yourself the powder that you're going to fucking reconstitute and is fucking illegal run through all your filters no I'm not even talking about the legality issues of it 
You don't know what the fuck that powder was they sold you that you bought from fucking China that came into fucking, you know, Prague or wherever the fuck it came from. So Plus, You better be an educated motherfucker too to do it right. So I just, I can get it from the doctor. I get real shit. I know it's real shit. And, uh, and they take care and of they it. And they fucking take care of it. They put that shit in. I don't have to fucking shoot myself with a needle every fucking day or every two days or three days. And you guys asking about the capsules, I saw people going, oh, I had those and it didn't agree with me. Probably you're one of them people that nothing in your fucking life agreed with you. And uh, like everything else, this didn't agree with you either. But um, I know a lot of people use it. It's worked well for me. It's time release. I don't have the estrogen issues. I don't have to worry with fucking Novadex or Clomid or any of that other stuff. And um, it's fucking working. I'm, you know, I'm 205 right now. I was 185. My fat's way down. Um, I'm not working out. Probably, well, I guess I am working out hard. I'm eating, you know, pretty decent. I still eat dessert and shit all the time. Not all the time, but anytime we go someplace that they have dessert. <laughs> Other than Colin's, Colin's chick brings me dessert all the time. Mm -hmm. But, um, like I'm cardio, and I never fucking did cardio, and I'm cardio in 45 minutes three times a week, and my fucking body weight is fucking 15 pounds up. So, obviously the shit's working. And I look ridiculously fucking really good, so. <laughs> I was like, yeah, try to keep staying after he says that. Plus, I don't have to work out as hard because I went down to a small shirt. <laughs> true. Small fitted shirt. That's all we got. We got a lot of shit to do. Ship all you guys the shit that you didn't fucking bother to tell us you wanted for Christmas. So, we're kind of fucking busy. And we'll talk to you later. Right.